Hey guys, it's Brie. So today I went onto my Facebook page and I asked you guys what we wanted to see. And the most requested video idea was for me to do my review of the Sea Sponge tampons. So that's what I'm going to do. The Sea Sponge company contacted me actually and asked me if I'd like to try them out. And I said, yep, yeah, sure, I'll give it a go. In the past, I was hesitant about doing it because. They do carry a small risk of TSS because it's an absorbent fibre, obviously. It's much, much lower than using a typical tampon, but I was still a bit kind of like, eh, I'm not sure. But when they contacted me, I decided, you know what, yeah, I'll just give it a go and see what happens because I really want to try them out and I've had a lot of people asking about them. So I wanted to give you my review. And the company, the lady contacted me was April and she was so, so sweet. Every question I wanted to have answered was answered. And they were very responsive and they got back to me really quickly and all sorts of stuff. So they're a really good company. And if you have any questions, even at the end of the video, I would definitely recommend that you click on the link that I'll put in the description um, to their website. And you can email them. They'll probably be fantastic, I'm sure, because they were really good with me. Anyway, she asked me which type of um, size I wanted to try. Because the sea sponge tampons come in different sizes. And I thought, you know, I don't really have a heavy period. So I'll just ask for like, the light sizes. So I got the mini, the light and also the regular, which is kind of fat that way, but narrow that way. It also came with a cotton storage pouch, and I think this is organic cotton actually, they're very into natural stuff at the company. And it also came with a mesh bag that you put them in when they're damp and they're just, you want them to dry, keeps them from touching other things. It came with a measurer, so you can measure the length of your sea sponge tampon. And it also came with this little instruction leaflet, which is fantastic. Has loads of info on it, so you're not going to be in the dark if you get this and have no idea how to use it. This thing explains it really, really well. Anyway, moving on. So how do they work? The mini tampon is the one I'm going to use to demonstrate. It was my favourite of all of them, simply because it's so ditzy and it's so cute. I just, oh, it's tiny. Anyway, what you do to make this thing work is, it, when you get it, it's actually surprisingly hard. And you think, that's going to hurt, because it's kind of rough as well but what you do is you run it under the tap and you kind of keep doing this to it until there's no hard bits on it at all it'll go very very soft and really squishy very much like a normal sponge when you rinse it out under the tap these are silk sponges um, and that, that's why they're used for um, tampons reusable tampons what you do is you then squeeze it and you just slowly insert it into your vagina like that until it's just inside and you can't feel anything you're not any any discomfort at all so it's inside you like that. Nothing hanging out. Um, obviously they don't have a string like a typical tampon, so you do need to put the whole thing inside you. It's like a menstrual cup in that respect. Then you leave it in for about three to four hours, a typical time you would with a normal tampon, and then or when you feel like it's full or if you're heavy, you'll probably know how long you typically would leave a normal tampon. It's about the same amount of time. You go back up and you pull it out, and then you put it into the sink and you rinse all the blood out, and you can actually then straight away reinsert it again, or you can leave it out to dry and switch to another one. So I tried out the mini and the light because my period really wasn't very heavy this month, so I decided I'd just use the light side so I didn't really need to try out the regular one because I wasn't, you know, that heavy. Um, I didn't leak with either of them, they were really good actually, I really liked them, I couldn't feel them at all once I inserted them in. When I first inserted the light one, I was a bit like apprehensive because it does look quite big for a light, you know, tampon, and I was a bit apprehensive over it, so I washed it and I really kind of slowly inserted it and I didn't have any discomfort or anything. And once it was inside, I got up and I thought I could feel it, so I went back and I pushed it up a little bit higher. And I don't know if it was too low or whether it was just my mind playing tricks on me thinking, oh, there's things down there that I haven't done before. Um, I thought I could feel it, but after a while I realised actually I couldn't. And I think I was wearing this one when I went dancing. Either of these. Um, so it was inserted inside me. I couldn't feel it. They didn't leak. I didn't bleed very heavily when I was testing them out, so I couldn't really give you a test of how much they could hold. But... Trust me, when I took this one out and there was like a streak of blood down the side, much like it would be on a regular tampon, Look, it, it looked that way anyway, I washed it out under the tap and this thing like had blood running out of it for ages. I thought, oh my gosh, it's held so much. So I was really pleasantly surprised about that. And um, like I said, I didn't have any discomfort or anything. So if you're looking to kind of gently ease into reusables and you think a menstrual cup might be a step too far, definitely consider these. And I have to say, of all of these three that I had, 
I was most impressed by the Mini because I think this is a fantastic introduction to um, internal protection. It is so small and it's really, really soft when you rinse it out under the tap and everything that it's really easy to insert. So I think if you've never used internal protection before, I know there are a lot of um, young teenagers who watch this, definitely consider getting the mini set. They sell these in packs of two and three, I believe. So you can have two minis or two regulars or two, sorry, two lights or two regulars, or you can get a pack of these three, I believe, in this particular one, and then you can get the heavier pack and such and so on. But if you accidentally get the regular and you think, oh, this is too big, you can also trim it. It's okay to trim them down to size. So obviously you can't add on sizes, but if you get one that's a bit too big for you, you can trim it, you can make it narrower if you think it's too wide for you, or vice versa, you can cut it down. So that's a good thing. So these sponge tampons supposedly last for around 6 to 12 months, 3 months minimum. Um, so it basically depends on how well you care for them. If you're really good with cleaning them and storing them, they'll last longer. Some of the other uses for sea sponge tampons that people use them for actually are number one, for contraception, believe it or not, probably not the mini, more likely the regular or a bigger size. This works by same same way you would insert it for a tampon, you wet it and you insert it in. And you can use a homemade uh, sperm side, which they actually give you a little where's the back in the other uses section of the pamphlet, they actually give you a little like, what's the word? Recipe, I guess you could call it, for making a natural spermicide. But they also say it's not a tested form of contraception, so it's probably one you want to use if you are in a really stable relationship and yeah, you're not really looking to have a baby right now, but if it happened, it's not the end of the world because it's not a proven method. It's definitely not one you want to use if you really don't want to get pregnant because like they say, it's not an official method of contraception. So as you might be able to guess from the fact that they say this can also be used as a form of contraception, you can also have sex when you are using this on your period. However, they probably, I think they recommended on their site, what you want to do is you want to take it out and rinse it out so it's clean and insert it before you have sex. So basically, if it's at night or something, take it out, clean it, put it in, and then you can have sex. And then you can leave it in overnight and it will absorb it. It does tend to move up quite a bit higher though, apparently, when you have sex, so you want to also, I mean, they have a whole FAQ page on this, so if you really want to know about it, all the info is there, but it moves up higher, so it's a good idea to use one of the bigger ones, because it'll be easier to grab and get it out, and actually, my light one did move up higher when I wore it, when I was dancing, because I'm doing all these crazy moves and stuff, it did move up a little bit higher, but it was still easy for me to grab, so I didn't have any issues with that, and I found they didn't shift up as high as my menstrual cups tend to move up, they stayed pretty low, so that was pretty good, even the mini one, which is really, really tiny. One concern with sea sponge tampons is, are they sustainable, you know, are they sustainably harvested and stuff, and yes they are. I can't remember exactly the process that's done to get them, but I do know that they describe it much like when you prune a plant, so when you take the sea sponges off, you cut the ends, they actually encourage the, the sea sponges to grow more. So there's a whole section said before, I'll put the link down below, if you look on their FAQ page, they have a massive paragraph explaining this and explaining the whole vegan side of it, because technically a sea sponge is classed as an animal, but it thinks and it acts and it reproduces, I guess, like a plant. So. Most vegans say yes, it is a vegan product, but if you want to read more on that, like I said, check out the link because they'll have all the info there. So I would definitely recommend these as a product. Would I use it more frequently? I don't think so. I think I'll stick to my menstrual cups because I do like being able to have the protection for up to 12 hours. And they obviously can only hold as much as a normal, typical tampon would. So... That's the thing, if you're used to using tampons, then that's not going to be an issue for you. I've just got so used to wearing a cup for ages and ages that I don't think I would switch to these completely. But I'll definitely bear this little mini one in mind because it's absolutely great for my little light day when I just don't want to have a whole load of protection in there, but I want to wear it. So I hope this review was helpful for you guys. Big thank you to the Sea Sponge Company for sending these to me. I had a really good time trying them out and everything. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.